Space, the final frontier. For centuries, the United Federation of Planets has explored the farthest reach. Oh, will you give it a rest? You know, he makes it sound like your quest for knowledge is significant. To you, maybe, but to me, sticking your starships into other species' business is merely a quaint exercise in frivolity. But you know what? That's what I love about your species. Your ability, your desire to dwell on all matters trivial is the best thing that ever happened to me. Besides me, of course. You see, as long as you people stay out of trouble, and I'm talking about real trouble, not your cute little twubble with twibbles, then I can dedicate some quality time to someone worthy of my undivided attention. And I can't spend all that time with myself if I have to constantly clean up after your quests for knowledge. Remember, I have the fun. You suffer the consequences. That brings me as to why you're here. I've devised a devious little diversion and modeled it after the all-time classic 20th century game show. That little doozy spread like a virus around your planet and ended up making Earth the laughing stock of the galaxy. But enough about me and my stellar inventiveness. Let's talk about you and your lack of it. On second thought, it's time for the announcer to do some work. Right you are, your omnipotence. Okay, contestants, how many of you will be playing today? Type one, two, or three. <laughs> now click on the species you represent. Now, type in your name. Ah, a human. Can you say plain rap species? Good job. Your buzzer is the B key. To quit the game at any time, hit the escape key. And now, live from the center of the galaxy, it's the game show that doesn't claim to have all the answers. It's just embarrassed to know all the answers. Welcome to Q's Trivia Trick. And now, your favorite host and mine. Please welcome... Q! Thank you, thank you. You're not kind enough, but it'll have to do. I'm thrilled to be here. Equally thrilled is my lovely partner. Now, as a matter of theory, she has powers equal to mine, but as a matter of fact, she has so much to learn before she can attain my level of uh, me. So, please, let's give a similar but tastefully less enthusiastic welcome to Q. How thoughtful of you, Q. Now I can stick to the floor, just like your jokes. Much better. All right, that's enough. Q, you, you look ravishing, as always. Why, thank you, Q. It's nice to be back. As usual, it is such an honor to assist you. You will, of course, remind me to appreciate this opportunity. Of course, my dear. Right after I remind the continuum that your training is still not complete. You know, I would stop form just for the chance to watch you sidekick yourself. <laughs> it's less a uniform than it is a cry for help. Enough chit-chat, players. Welcome to the Alpha Quadrant. As you can see, I've gone to considerable lengths to provide an atmosphere that is, if not attractive, then at least familiar. Here we will ask you about famous and notable figures in Federation and Starfleet history. Now keep in mind, I have delved deeply into the lives of these people. <laughs> Some of them even know me personally. So the questions not only deal with their official acts as Starfleet officers, but items from their personal logs as well. You? Making good use of my omnipotent powers, I will spin this wheel. After it stops on a category, a question will be read and displayed. Be the first to buzz your buzzer, then type in the letter corresponding to the answer you believe is correct. Here we go. The category is medical for 400 points. Beverly Crusher did her medical internship on planet Delos 4. What is the name of her mentor under whom she did her internship? A. Frank Pulaski. B. Sergei Rozhenko. C. Jarth Rip. Hallelujah. The answer is indeed... D. Dalen Quace. 
The category is Captain for 300 points. The Sakarians have a technology that can potentially get the Voyager home, but Janeway won't violate their laws to obtain the device. Who violates her orders to bring the device on board? A. Chakotay. Uh, let's hear it for blind luck. The answer is indeed... D. Tuvok. The category is engineering. For 200 points... Geordi develops a strong attraction to a member of the Enterprise D design team when he creates her image on the holodeck. What is the name of this Starfleet designer? A. Lieutenant Grace Modell. I'm nearly impressed. The answer is indeed... B. Dr. Leah Brahms. Oh, goody! A red alert question. This is a little game I like to call Memories in Motion. Watch the clip on the view screen. That's all I'm going to tell you. I can't go with you, Zephyr. Of course you can. You have to. My life emanates from this place. If I should leave it for more than a tiny march of days, I'll cease to exist. Player one, this question is for you. For 500 points... What was the crewman's first name? A. Ephraim. B. I've been thinking, and uh, I suggest you start doing the same. The answer is... D. Zephram. The category is Helm Sciences. For 400 points... On the ISS Enterprise in the Parallel Mirror Universe, Lieutenant Sulu tries to kill Captain Kirk. What is Sulu's position on the ISS Enterprise? A. Chief Helmsman. B. Chief Weapons Officer. Maybe you should try sports. The answer is... D. Chief of Security. The category is Helm Sciences. For 300 points. After Worf's promotion to Lieutenant Commander, Data chooses to install and activate his emotion chip. After this is done, where is the first place he goes to? A. Engineering. Are they peeking at the answers? The answer is indeed... B. Ten forward. The category is miscellany. For 200 points... Quark and Rom's father was named Keldar. Their mother now lives alone on Ferenginar. What name do Quark and Rom call their mother? A. Maskey. B. Nama. C. Moogie. We're going too easy on them. The answer is, indeed, C. Moogie. The category is First Officer. For 600 points, Kira is kidnapped by the Obsidian Order transformed to look like a Cardassian, and told that she is really a spy and the daughter of a high-ranking Cardassian. What is the name of this Cardassian? A. Gamor. B. Maybe. Will miracles never cease? The answer is, indeed, A. Gamor. You have performed adequately so far. Looks like someone feels a bit threatened. Cool your jets, Missy. Only I find myself threatening. Let's move into the Beta Quadrant, shall we? Welcome to the Beta Quadrant. Creepy, isn't it? You see, the universe, my universe, isn't just pretty star fields and picturesque nebulae. There's nastiness to the left of you and brutality to the right of you. You could say I have a knack for chaos. Yeah, a knack. And you have such a dark side. It is so intimidating. Whatever will you inflict on the universe next? Hugh, as I've said, you can leave when I say so. And speaking of me, there are plenty of other warm, wonderful, cuddly encounters in the universe. Let's see what's out there. Exploiting to the fullest my extra dimensionality, I will push these buttons one by one. Each button reveals a clue and makes the picture in the static field view screen a little clearer. Based on the clues, the view screen, and the category shown above, 
Your job is to identify the encounter. When you know the answer, hit your buzzer, type in the name, and hit enter. She means if you know the answer, and when you get it wrong. My dear Q will push the next button, and I will kindly grant another clue for the same encounter. A kinder, gentler Q. Somebody pinch me. If your answer is correct, then you get the points displayed. Enough hand-holding already. Let's go. The category is Alien Individual. <coughs> Clue number one. She sought a trilithium weapon. <coughs> Clue number two. She saw through Geordie's visor. Oh, Darwin wept. <coughs> Player one. Let's see what you're made of. That was an easy one. The answer is, indeed, Lursa. The category is, Alien Species. <coughs> Clue number one. Their ancestors let technology get out of control until the Reformation. <coughs> Clue number two. Janeway wanted to negotiate with them for polypharonide but was rebuffed. Did somebody set the questions on stun? <coughs> Clue number three. Their first prelate's name was Alcia. <coughs> Clue number four. Tuvok crashed with three of their children on a moon. Why don't you demo the buzzers for them? <coughs> Clue number five. They age backwards and end their lives in complete innocence. Oh yeah, it's the Andreans! You don't get out much, do you? The answer is, indeed, the Dreans. The category is alien individual. <laughs> Clue number one. Dax once told Kira she thought this man was cute. Clue number two. Dax rescued Bashir from a very long conversation with this man. Maybe they were waiting for some candy or something. <laughs> Clue number three. He ran naked into a... Player one. I'm waiting. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> the answer is indeed... Mourn. The category is... Anomaly. <laughs> Clue number one. One was found near Norpin 5. <laughs> Clue number two. It measured 200 million kilometers in diameter. Synapses. We hardly... <laughs> Player one. Type away. <laughs> Let's hear it for blind luck. The answer is, indeed, the Dyson Sphere. The category is... Alien species. <coughs> Clue number one. They are a violent people. <coughs> Clue number two. They had no quarrel with Kirk. Oh, Q! Look at them, psyching each other out. <coughs> Player one. Oh, this ought to be good. <coughs> I'm really impressed. <coughs> the answer is, indeed, Andorians. The category is Alien Species. <coughs> Clue number one. Picard once said that this group... <coughs> Player one. Give it your best shot. <coughs> Are they peeking at the answers? <coughs> the answer is indeed... Ferengi. Whoa! If I weren't perfect, I'd actually consider these scores impressive. Qbert, if you're perfect, I am an undulating space amoeba. Nah. Too easy. Let's move into the Gamma Quadrant, shall we? Ah! Isn't the Gamma Quadrant pleasant? What a contrast to that scary, foreboding place we just left. Am I right? Nothing bad ever happens here. No siree. And if you believe that, I have a nice bridge to sell you. Bridge? I get it. Yes, well, not often enough. 
Oh, the bridge, the command center, where most of the tough decisions are made. Bluffs, face-offs, duels, sacrifices, you name it. A mission without trouble is like a day without me. Dreadfully unexciting. I'm willing to test that comparison right now. Right now? Oh, yes, right now. That's the key to every command decision. He or she who hesitates is lost, or in my universe, vaporized. Oh, sure, I've tested many a captain many times over, but lucky you, now it's your turn. So, let's have some fun, shall we? Demonstrating my grasp of repetitive motion skills, I will pull this lever. When a category is selected, a question will be assigned to a player. If you are that player, you'll have several choices. You can answer it correctly and add the points to your score. You can answer it incorrectly and watch the points get subtracted from your score. Or you can forfeit the question to your opponents, if you have any, and lose nothing. Except your self-respect. If one of your opponents chooses to answer the question you wimped out on, the risk is transferred to them. If they answer correctly, they add the points displayed. But if they answer incorrectly, they lose double the amount displayed. So no one get too anxious or cocky. Any halfway intelligent captain would tell you the same. To forfeit a question, let the timer run out. Just remember you don't get a replacement question. In a three-player game, each contestant gets two questions. In a two-player game, each contestant gets three questions. In a one-player game, the contestant gets all six questions. I'm going to forfeit my patience if we don't begin soon. Let's do it. For 500 points, the Voyager crew makes contact with a ship in the Alpha Quadrant through a wormhole which is too small to travel through. To what race does this Alpha Quadrant ship belong? A. Vulcan. B. Andorian. C. Romulan. We're going too easy on them. The answer is indeed C. Romulan. <laughs> For 800 points, most Kazon factions have, at one time or another, attempted to destroy Voyager and or capture its technology. Which of the following is not the name of a Kazon sect? A. The Mastral. B. The Razik. C. The Oglomar. D. The Hobai. I've seen Klingons who could grunt more intelligent answers. The answer is... B. The Razik. For 500 points. Shortly before the Borg attack at Wolf 359, Commander Riker is given his third offer of a command, which he proceeds to turn down. What vessel does Starfleet offer him? A. The U.S. Will miracles never cease? The answer is, indeed, A. The USS Melbourne. For 500 points. When the alien probe enters Federation space, a Federation starship detects it and is promptly drained of all power. What is the name of this ship? A. The USS Miranda. That was an easy one. The answer is, indeed, D. The USS Saratoga. For 400 points. When Keiko O'Brien begins teaching Bajoran children about the wormhole, she touches off a religious conflict. Who suggests teaching Bajorans and non-Bajorans in separate schools? A. Kira. B. B Win. You give sentience a bad name. The answer is... A. Kira. For 600 points... Kirk, Spock, and McCoy help to put down a Klingon-sponsored coup on Capella 4 and help the High Tier's widow deliver her baby son. What name does she give to this baby High Tier? A. James Spock Akaar. B. Akaar Kirk. C. If you had another neuron, you'd have a synapse. The answer is... D. Leonard James Akaar. Those are some fairly decent point values. 
Whoa, are you saying you're impressed? Only in my ability to select the easiest questions. Delta Quadrant is waiting. Let's go. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant. Don't worry. I probably won't leave you stranded, but if I do, no hard feelings. I mean, how could I blame you for your inability to pay attention? Heaven forbid they take their eyes off you for one second. She's so cute when she gets tired. Now listen carefully. I've created a special challenge based on each of the five Starfleet eras that you saw in the beginning. But you only get one of those challenges per game. Hey, if you're curious about the others, you'll have to keep playing until you experience all of them. And yes, I'll be your host each and every time. Anything to be the center of attention over and over and over. Over? Oh, I don't need her anymore. I know. I'm a pig. Oh, goody. This is one of my favorites. See the Borg? With any luck, you're going to make them human again. All you have to do is solve the mystery word. Guess a letter, remove an implant. You get points, he gets his life back. It's beautiful. Each player gets to guess one letter per turn. To solve the word, wait till it's your turn. Hit the space bar instead of a key letter and type the answer. Here we go. There is an A. There is a C. There is an E. There is an S. There is a T. There is an R. There is an F. There is an L. There is a D. There is an M. There is a Y. Hallelujah. The answer is Starfleet Academy. Well, at least someone's been studying the history banks. Still not quite up to the standards of the continuum, but keep it up. Congratulations, Player One. You have a high score.